horse trailer. It's all aluminum. It's about 35 feet long altogether. I'm not sure exactly on the size of the uh, interior, but I believe it's a 12 foot short wall. I have a bed in the front plus a, a couch that pulls into a bed. It's like another pretty large person. It has the large size, I'll close it. It's a bathroom. Um, it says a large size refrigerator and freezer, microwave. It's got a uh, cooktop that runs on gas. Gas cooktop. Uh, it has a fan, overhead fan. It's got an air conditioning unit which also has heat. There's also a furnace and of course hot water heater. Um, other features, just super nice cabinets. Let me see. And TV. Now, this is a fairly large bed. There's storage on both sides. You can see the cabinets in the back plus storage boxes on the side. Then it has a completely separate uh, bath with a totally separate shower and toilet. And also there's additional storage in here, of course. And a vanity sink. Quite nice. Again, nice cabinets. And then you can walk all the way through here into the mid-tack. The mid-tack area is actually quite large and also has storage in the back. So it's got big cabinets there uh, with, co with uh, hangers. So you can hang like holding rack in the back. And close this. Okay, that's your mid-tack. So it's pretty good size. Uh, I'll put measurements in the listing. And then from there we can step back through into the horse area. Again, it's all aluminum. And notice these it has vents up here on the ceiling that will open up either direction, depending on which way you want them, or close all together. I'm going to go outside and show you how the windows. Actually, we can go outside and I'll show you from out there. Um, all right, these are on springs. They're spring loaded. Just make it easier for loading the horses. And we'll like that. It's a three horse in the back here. All the windows, front and rear, drop down, and it has bars that will drop down separately from the window. There is no ramp, it's a step up. And back here we have a back area. And this rack will come out. You can actually remove this rack and put it in the mid tack area that we were in before if you want to. Um, again, it's all aluminum, and I'll show you how the, the window works and then how the carriage rack works. Okay, well, give me the window. These windows in the back just slide open and shut. But all the rest of the windows, you can drop down the window and just leave that open if you want more ventilation. They lock down. And then if you want to bring the bars down, you can just do that. That way if you're at the front of the trailer and you want to feed them or smack them in the face or something, you can. <laughs> and then put the bars back up so they don't stick their head out while you're going down the road. Of course, there's also ties on the outside. And the final thing is this carriage rack. Which can easily, well, fairly easily be removed. It's just bolted on. And it swings. The nice thing about this is if you have a carriage on, you can swing it open and take the horses out. You don't have to unload the carriage. You can leave the carriage on the carriage rack and still take your horses out. And it locks down here. It's a little, just a couple of pins. And then it has these uh, ramps right here that drop down. So you can, you have to lift it a little bit, but you can kind of wheel the cart up there. And then the Jacks go in there and we just pin those in as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the only other thing is one of those windows I was showing you, the window on this side is, uh, take this uh, one of these windows is missing. This one here was down and it wasn't latched properly and it bounced and it broke off. So it is missing one window there. Um, the brakes are all brand new. I'll put all the rest of that stuff in the listing. And that's about it. Oh, and there's a uh, storage area right here, of course, for your... I believe you could probably put a generator in here as well, but we use it for all of our hoses. Um, and the battery. The battery in there. It does have an electric jack, of course. And that's about it. Oh, here's your tag we're looking for. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember reading it. I'll have to take a picture. Ah. Two propane tanks on the front. And like I say, an uh, electric jack so that will raise and lower the trailer. And of course, you can also do it man manually. It's got a manual setup also, so if for some reason you don't have power, you can still do it. Yeah.
has a water plug in, right? Yes, where there, there's water here as well. Of course. Yes. And this is a soot stain from the old water heater. Was putting a soot stain on here. The water heater was just replaced a year ago. So it doesn't do that anymore. The stain's still there. All good? All good. There you go. Thank you very much.